between Allen, Rosen, and Darnold, who's got the most upside in the NFL? <laughs> it's a hard question to answer just because Rosen's the guy who looks like he was born to play quarterback. And probably, if you look at the three of them, he's probably the most evolved on the field. He's a guy who can probably step in and play right away. He's got some off-field questions. But as far as what type of player he is, the way he throws the ball, it just looks like he was born to play the position. Josh Allen's the, 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 the raw athlete. And so Josh Allen's going to take a lot of work. But he's got Big Ben, Cam Newton type of ability as far as his arm strength and his size. And so, you know, where Rosen really looks like the guy who was born to play the position, just a textbook, um, just, just, just textbook the way his delivery is, the, you know, his mechanics, everything's there right now. Allen's kind of the guy who's, you know, the, 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 the raw piece of clay, the guy that you can form into something that could be potentially great, but maybe isn't there quite yet. You know, and then Darnold's a guy who needs a lot of mechanical work, but the off-field for Darnold is off the charts. Leadership, um, poise, a winner, all that stuff is there with Darnold. And so each of these guys have different holes in their game, and really for the teams at the top of the draft, it's going to be it's going to come down to what do you feel most comfortable working through? Do you feel most comfortable working through Darnold's mechanics? Do you feel most comfortable working through Rosen's off-field problems? Or do you feel most comfortable that you can develop Allen from what he is now to maybe what he could be in three or four years? Those are the questions we're going to hear asked over the next few months.